you'll know first. This is WVTM 13 Live Doppler. Well, it was a day that featured lots of cloud cover, even a few showers early this morning. This was the view in Tuscaloosa County, mostly cloudy up until sunset. Then the skies parted and we saw just a little bit of sunshine to round out our day. The clouds, though, they'll increase again overnight tonight. Our forecast showing partly to mostly cloudy skies through the evening hours. Temperatures will be near steady in the middle to upper 40s for many of us. So if you're heading outdoors this evening, a light jacket may be necessary, but otherwise not too awfully cold out there by February standards. Quiet right now on the WVTM 13 live Doppler. That though will change as we go through the next 48 hours. The rain today, it's mainly been across the southern half of our state, still pretty active uh, in the Florida Panhandle down into the northern Gulf of Mexico. That rain though, it's not heading our way, so we'll see quieter weather overnight tonight and into our Monday. Notice mostly cloudy skies out there for Monday afternoon at 3 p.m., but still dry. Then though we start to notice some changes as we head into late Monday night and Tuesday and approaching cold front means chances for some light to moderate rain showers increasing as early as early Tuesday morning. Those chances will increase as we go through the day. Here comes the cold front slowly sagging south, maybe even a few thunderstorms mixed in during the day on Tuesday. Very high rain chances for Tuesday. The lower a little bit on Wednesday. Looks like we get another surge of some rain coming in on Thursday. Unfortunately, this is exactly what we don't need. We've seen so many flooding concerns, the area's rivers over the last week or so, just because of all the heavy rainfall. It looks like more rain is on the way. So here we go into Tuesday, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Looks like Wednesday afternoon we see a little bit of a break in the rain, still mostly cloudy skies turning cooler once that front moves through. And then maybe another surge of light rain coming in during the day on Thursday, especially it looks like areas along and south of I-20. Between now and Thursday afternoon, most of us picking up between one to two inches of rain. So at least it's not the heavy rain that we saw last week, but of course we really don't need more of it. So we're calling Tuesday an impact day as we likely will see widespread showers throughout the day. A little drier Wednesday showers return on Thursday. Pretty cool, although it looks like we'll clear out with sunshine Friday and Saturday. Jared. Thank you.